Yesterday I shared some findings from the Children's Society's Good Childhood report that came out a couple of days ago um, and I focused on findings relating to school. Today I wanted to talk a bit about um, some of the findings that are focused on poverty um, and that, the links between that and young people's well-being. Um, so they use two measures, they look at um, income but they also look at a measure of financial strain, so the extent to which families are struggling with their finances. Um, they find that the latter, the financial strain, um, is a much better um, predictor of poor well-being and high depression, depressive symptoms. And next, because they are using um, longitudinal data from the Millennium Cohort Study, um, what they do is to look at um, the experiences of poverty and financial strain over time. Um, and interestingly here they find that if you've had intermittent experiences of poverty, um, it actually is um, more closely linked to poor well-being and depressive symptoms uh, than if it's persistent. Um, and what they hypothesise there is that what might be going on is that there's some disruption to the family going on there, so perhaps some uh, divorce or for separation, um, so kind of changing circumstances. Finally, um, they look over uh, the course of life of a young person and um, at how, many, how often someone's experienced uh, financial strain. And they find that um, if you've experienced just once, um, it has less of an effect than if it's more than once. However, if you've experienced that, um, that poverty at any point in childhood, it still has uh, some impact. 